something completely different. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with another comparison video of the White Sox to another opponent that they will face in 2020. And this time it's an opponent from the National League that is not called the Chicago Cubs. And that would be the San Francisco Giants. Um, now I'm going to start out the video by giving the dates because we'll just get that right out of the way. We play the Giants this year on May 8th, 9th, and 10th. That's it. Three games all in San Francisco and all on the heels of also a series against the Padres and I will do the Padres breakdown a little later. So be on the look for that. I know that I haven't uh, completed the American League yet. I still have one or two teams, maybe one very notable team, definitely. And if you've been following the series, you know what team that is. And that will be coming. But we also do play the National League West this year. So the Giants are in the West, so we'll do a breakdown of what we can expect from the Giants. So, um, just going over this really quickly, the White Sox, done this a lot of times before. You can go back and look at some of the other videos. It's the same breakdown, it's the same lineup, everything projected. Nothing on here yet has changed that I know of. So, you've got the lineup of Lewis Robert in center, Timmy Anderson at short, Moncada at third, Abreu at first, N. Canarcion at DH, Yasbani Grandal at catcher, Eloy Jimenez in left, Nomar Mazzara will be the right fielder, and then you got a Mendick Madrigal combination there at second base. Mendick will start the year at second, and then uh, Madrigal probably at some point during the season, although so far he's having a pretty bad spring, so we'll see how long that takes. Then you got a rotation of Giolito, Keuchel, Ronaldo Lopez, Gio Gonzalez, and Dylan Cease. Cease, if you remember, was up last year for about half the season. It was a very uninspiring half a season, but hopefully he has worked on a few things and will continue to work on some things in spring, and he'll come out even better. And um, as you'll remember, we got Keuchel and Gonzalez in off-season deals. And uh, the bullpen possibilities are over here. We've got Kopech as a possibility. We'll see what happens with Kopech. I don't know exactly what the White Sox plans for him would be. Then you got Jimmy Cordero, Alex Colome, Aaron Bummer, Evan Marshall, Carson Fulmer possibly. We'll see how things go with Fulmer. Jace Fry, uh, Kelvin Herrera, and Steve Ciszek. So those are all possible bullpen arms. Some of them are definite, like Ciszek, because we just got him in the offseason as well. And then the bench is Lori Garcia, uh, James McCann, Zach Collins, and my boy Adam Engel. So that's a pretty good bench, you know, pretty fair. Um... As I've said before, I think they are better off. I don't know what they're going to do, but I think they're better off starting the year with Mendick as the second baseman. With Lurie Garcia as like a super utility guy on the, on the bench to fill in for anybody that needs a day off, is injured, has some, you know, nagging, you know, uh, cuts and uh, bruises and whatever, sore muscles. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the White Sox coming into 2020. Now you got the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, not the San Francisco 49ers, San Francisco Giants. The San Francisco 49ers were much better than the Giants are going to be. So anyway, you've got uh, the, the projected lineup for the Giants I, uh, that I was able to dig up. Is Brandon Belt at first. Mike Yastrzemski, Lil Yaz. Yastrzemski's grandson in center. Buster Posey at catcher. Evan Longoria at third base. Love Evan Longoria because he is on my Stratomatic team. 
I drafted him in the free agent draft this year, so I am hoping that he does at least fairly well. Brandon Crawford at short, Alex Dickerson in left, Hunter Pence in right field. He's back in San Francisco. He's back. And then uh, Wilmer Flores or Maurice Dubon at second. And then, of course, the pitcher. And since these games will be in San Francisco, we probably are not going to have Encarnacion in our lineup. It's going to be the pitcher. Um, so then their starting rotation is projected. Really, um, they have some possibles for the rotation. I don't think, nothing I've really read is said set. These are the five guys. But you've got Cueto, Samarja, Gosman. I think those three are locks. They will be in the rotation for San Francisco. Then you got Tyler, and the possibles are Tyler Anderson, um, Tyler Beatty, uh, Drew Smiley, and Logan Webb. Those are possibles to fill out the last two spots. So we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Um, then you got a bullpen that has Tony Watson, Tyler Rogers, Derek Rodriguez, um, Gustav, uh, Trevor Gott, Wandy Peralta, and uh, Reyes Maranta. And there's probably even a couple of other guys that could sneak in there. I mean... The Giants are kind of in a rebuilding stage, rebuilding, retooling, not quite ready for prime time, whatever you want to call it. That's where they are. And then their bench would be, there we go, Yalmer Sanchez apparently has signed with the Giants. I don't know what kind of contract, whether it's on like a minor league contract and hoping to make the major league team, I don't know. But it's nice to see him getting a shot at least. Uh, I mean, I liked him. I liked Yomer, but he was going to be expensive. Um, then you got sliding Billy Hamilton and uh, Stephen Duggar and Aramis Garcia, the backup catcher. So that's how San Francisco lines up, um, potentially. They're, like I said, they're not going to be a very good team. There's nothing really to worry about, and especially we only play them three games in San Francisco in a West Coast swing. So, um, you know, there's nothing really earth-shattering there. Um, but we'll see how it goes, you know. Um, Playing the West is going to be interesting. You know, we're playing San Francisco, we're playing San Diego, we're playing Colorado. So it's going to be an interesting year playing the, uh, the National League West. So what do you guys think? Uh, ideas about San Francisco? Anybody out there, San Francisco authority? Authority on San Francisco? You could shed some more light maybe on who would really be in the rotation or who would actually be on the bench or the uh, bullpen. You know, I mean, different sources are saying different stuff. So this is what I was able to piece together. But anyway, uh, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. What do you think about us playing the West this year? How does that, uh, what's that bode for us? But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.